Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we are going to continue talking about ClickFunnels 2.0. And we're going to look at how to set up your SEO metadata for each of the pages inside of your workspace your blog, whatever you want to think of this as. Also, we're going to look at how to do it on other individual pages and your funnel pages as well. Now, notice I said your SEO metadata. This is not going to be about how to SEO or search engine optimize your pages with the proper content, the proper backlinks and all that. That'll be for a different video. This is just where to show you to go to make sure you get all of your SEO metadata into each one of your pages. So the first place we want to go is over here to site and funnels and we want to click on that and we want to open up what is our blog homepage, our workspace homepage, however you want to look at this. That's what we're going to open up right here first and we don't want to click on customize. What we want to do is we want to click here on site settings. So we'll come into our site settings. And in here, you can put in your site title here at the top. Now, this is not the SEO part. Down here, technically, is the SEO part. But you can put in your site title, the domain that you're going to use right here if you had put in multiple different domains at that point. And domain setup is for a different video. Then here, you can put in your site favicon. Now, as of the recording of this, September 26, 2022, you can only put in a singular icon for everything, including all of your funnels. Hopefully, as they go along and they get more of the, uh, more of the features put into the software, you'll be able to set up individual icons for each one of your individual funnels. You can also put in a site header logo at this point too, which I'm not actually quite sure where this one shows up. But where it says here that this needs to be 512 by 512 square, I tried to put in a different sized image and it kicked it out. So if you're having trouble getting that in there, um, getting the right size, all I did was I just typed in here, uh, resize image into Google. And I came up with a thing here. It's called image resizer. And I grabbed my image. I dropped it in there. I said I wanted 512 by 512. And it returned me an image that I put in here about 30 seconds later. So that worked really good. You can set your site down here to uh, your availability of public or private. Here you can put in your head tracking code, but that's for another video. And then we're going to keep going down here because we don't need any of this at that point. But here we are for our SEO and sharing. Now, again, this is going to be the SEO only for the home page of your blog, home page of your site homepage of your workspace, whatever you want to call it. And so here I just have my title page. I have my description. So this here is your meta title. This here is your meta description. And then this here is your meta image right there. Put all those in and update the site. So then after that, we have to go to all of our individual pages. Now, whether you have a standalone page or a site page, it will work exactly the same. So in this case here, let's go to our demo test page that we created in an earlier video. We can name our page, we can put it in a description, but this right here is the metadata that we're looking for. And so we can put in our page title, and then we're just gonna say, uh, we're just gonna call this um, Ninja Hackers demo page, and this, is our description just to put something in here real quick here i'll just put in there uh, boom just copy that then right here it will give you this right here which is your page uh, URL. This will give you your, your your path on your page and you see here it took the name from up here at the top if you wanted to change this you can and we'll just put in something like here ninja hacker dash demo will say is our path on there we will hit enter and let me see did it url oops it said a url was already taken even though i don't think it was let me see what it did here nope it actually left it in there so we're probably going to be okay i've seen it do that other times where you type one in it says it's been taken but then and it'll like kick you out you'll come back in and then it'll be just fine and then here we can put in a sharing image and i'll put in an image of my dog Marley right there. And then that is it. So that's the sharing image. So if somebody were to 
put the at, <clears throat> excuse me, put that onto Facebook or something. This is the image that will go along with it, and they will see the title and the description. And of course, that will be uh, one of the many things that is picked up by the search engines and will show in the search results is the title and the description, unless, of course, Google decides to put in some other description for your page. So that is that there. So let us just, uh, I don't need to save this, so let's just kill that. And then the same thing with site pages is exactly the same. We will edit the page, come in here. We got our sharing, uh, SEO and sharing. This one was already done. And you can see then it populates the URL right up here at the top. In fact, this is what it would look like on social media. Uh, minus the image. The image would also go in here if this was going over onto Facebook, but this is what it probably looked like on, um, on Google or in any other search engine is how it would look in there. And then we see here we got funnel pages. Now again, each individual funnel page is its own page. And so you want to make sure you SEO those pages if, and here's the big caveat, here's the if, if you want them picked up by a search engine. Now, you may say to yourself, okay, I only want the first page of my funnel, the landing page, the opt-in page, whatever it is. I only want that one to be picked up in Google. So you will then come in here and you will, you will set up the information for that singular page, but not for the rest. And now I see this here, and I know that I just saw something recently and maybe it's only when you create a new page let me see here let's create a new page let's start with a blank page and so here we go index and search engines this is something that they just put in a couple of days ago again we're the end of september in 2022 so they're adding all kinds of new stuff all the time so here we're going to say no i don't want this being uh, found by the search engines and so i can click that fill out the rest of the information and then once you save it then you can uh, come in and then you can create your SEO metadata in here. And it would be nice that on this page right here, they also included whether it was or was not being seen by the search engines. So that is really it. Those are the only places that I can think of where you would put in your SEO metadata. And like I said, there will be another video on how to actually search engine optimize your pages, your blogs, etc. So if you got any questions, just let me know.